This person had a big panic reaction to pure awareness in the hub of this wheel. And he said, I need to talk to you. So I said, fine, let's talk. And I said, and I said, what's going on? He goes, I don't know, you know, I'm in therapy, but we never get to this kind of place of that openness. And it was, I had like a glimpse of this timelessness, but then I freaked out and it's so scary. It's so uncertain. I can't, I gotta have something I can hold on to. So I said, okay, well, what comes to mind when you think about this terror? And then he just looks at me and he gets tearful and he goes, you know, I was in, a, in an orphanage for six months and I have no idea what that was about. I said, well, do you know about the difference between implicit and explicit memory? He goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, you know, what do you think uncertainty was like for you in that adoption place? And this is where, you know, I'm an attachment researcher, so we have lots of evidence, Christoph, that implicit memories laid down in infancy are remembered, not explicitly. You never say, oh, I'm remembering it explicitly, but they affect your emotions, they affect your <clears throat> actions, they affect the way you feel in your body, they affect your sense of self even. What he did was, he said, oh, you mean I can actually have a memory of how frightening uncertainty was, but when I'm remembering it, I don't realize I'm remembering it, I just think uncertainty is frightening. I said, yeah, so try the wheel again. And when the panic comes up, just say, oh, I'm remembering when I was in the orphanage and everything changed for him.